Today we're going to be talking about five ways to fish the gold spoon. But make sure you stay till the end because the fifth one is super duper top secret that very few anglers know about or have ever tried. Maybe. Plus we're going to be sprinkling a few tips and tricks right there at the end. Hey you making folks and welcome to the channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Vinny and if you like hunting and fishing and doing outdoor things, well you're in the right place because that's what this channel is all about. We do some unboxings, reviews, how-tos, as well as a bunch of hunting and fishing vlogs. But that's not what we're here to talk about right now. So let's get back to the spoons. So if you're not familiar with what a gold spoon is, it's basically just a hunk of metal in the shape of a spoon with a little hook welded to it as well as this little weed guard right there. Very popular amongst inshore fishermen uh, fishing for redfish, especially down here in South Louisiana. That's how I was introduced to it. Chunking this bad boy out for them big marsh reds. So it's one of my favorite lures to use while fishing for redfish. One, because it is so simple to use as well as it is particularly weedless. Not a uh, weed free, but weed less. So the first way to fish this thing is just cast it out there and reel it back in. It's just as simple as that. So if you're a beginner red fisherman, go get you one of these things, slap it on a rod and reel, doesn't even matter what kind, just chunk it out there, reel it on back to you. You can cover a lot of water really quick and uh, the redfish love it. But not only redfish, these things catch pretty much any species you're out there targeting. Uh, if you're dragging along the bottom, you might get a flounder, but it's definitely good for redfish, speckled trout, bass, love it, believe it or not. Most people use this thing for inshore fishing, but a lot of people don't think about using this for bass, but I guarantee I done caught a lot of bass on this bad boy. So yeah, that's pretty much the first step. You just cast it out and retrieve that bad boy back until something takes a chunk out of it, and bam, fish for dinner. So the next two ways to fish this thing that we're gonna talk about is really just a modification of the first, the old cast and retrieve. You're just gonna chunk this bad boy out, and every time you turn the reel, basically, you're gonna jerk that tip a little bit. So let both hands work together, kind of like this motion, you know? And what that's going to do is just give this thing a little bit more jerky, erratic movement as it's going through the water, maybe make it look a little bit more realistic to the fish. And it might just cause that reaction strike as it passes by, just changing it up a little bit. And the third way we're going to talk about is very similar to that one, except instead of every reel giving it a jerk, you're just going to reel it steady for a little bit, give it a little jerk jerk just to, you know, make it go pop a little bit, maybe give it a little, just, just that little extra reaction you know by the way i'm going to leave a link in the description below for a few uh, different gold spoon options if you want to check that out all right now for the fourth way you can fish this thing very different from the other three is you can fish it more like a jig you know cast it out there let it sink to the bottom and you're just going to give it a good pop let it flutter down give it a good pop let it flutter down and that's going to imitate like either a dying bait fish or even a shrimp doing its little pop and sink motion this is particularly good if the weather's a little bit cooler or you're fishing uh, some slightly deeper water. So as far as the fifth way to fish this gold spoon, I just, I don't know if you're ready for it. I just, I just don't think I should, but, all right, I'm going to tell you. But first, before we do that, if you're getting any value whatsoever out of this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let me know about it. And if you're enjoying this outdoor content, you're into this sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell, because there will be more. I promise. So if you've been looking at the table in the back this whole time instead of looking at me, you probably already know what I'm about to say about the fifth way of doing this. Cheater. So the fifth way you can fish a gold spoon is, well, I had a trailer. I know, right? All you gotta do is slap some sort of curly tail grub or some other soft plastic on the back of your gold spoon and just fish it like you normally would. Add a little flair to the situation, you know, give it a little bit of extra movement. Now, before we wrap up this video, I'm going to hit you with a little land yap, a couple of tips and tricks, if you will, on uh, fishing this gold spoon. Now, before you cast it out, make sure your weed guard right here is in line with your hook and it is pulled a little bit above your hook. That'll help you when you're casting it through and around grass so not to get caught up in your hook. Now, if you do feel yourself getting caught in the grass, just give it a good yank while you're reeling it in. And a lot of times it'll break through that grass like hydrilla and, and that sort of thing. Unless it's that slime snot grass, that stuff pretty much sticks on everything. It's absolutely miserable. So if you do find yourself getting caught up in a lot of grass, switch to the lighter version of the gold spoon. I find it stays more on top of the grass like that. And whenever you get to a spot where the grass is spread more out or a hole in the grass, you slow it down, let it trickle down a little bit, give it a few jerks before you start reeling it back in. And if there's a fish there, it's going to strike. Yeah, that's um, pretty much it for this one. But thank you guys so much for watching. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Before you go, if you want to see all of my fishing content, you can check out this playlist right here, or you can click on this video that YouTube says you'll love. And, uh, oh, if you want to subscribe, you can click that little red button down there that says subscribe, or you can just click that logo right up there in the top corner. But, uh, that's, uh, pretty much it. Thanks for watching.